which area in networking are already saturated and which one are still wide open? The basic networking, there's a lot of people that are doing it, which is your traditional networking, which is switching, routing, although it's a foundation, but that is coming to a point of saturation because everybody's doing it. So the, the other question that you had was the uh, growth areas. Yeah. That's in terms of networking, software defined networking is the future where you have the ability to configure multiple devices by going into the controller and pushing configuration changes from the controller, which allows you the ability to scale your configuration drastically. So if you needed 10 people to do a task, now you can one person can do the task. That means there's gonna be less people doing the same task. Make yourself that one person. The other thing that you also need to take a look at is just because you see a lot of people come into the field, the field itself is growing. So there's a lot more networks that are out there that are coming up as well. So there'll always be networks that are coming up. So it's not like, okay, there's X number of people that are getting laid off. Those nine people now can get into other companies that are also getting into networking. So it's the networking field itself is also growing. Think about it. About seven years ago, eight years ago, if you wanted to go somewhere, you would need to ask somebody directions. Today you don't, and that's just because of networking. What do you think Google Maps is? It's a, the ability of connecting you to the server so that they can guide you to go from point A to point B. Networking is affecting our day-to-day -day lives more today than anything else, and it's growing. Our dependency on the network is growing today. More networks are coming up. So there are gonna be more job opportunities for networkers in the future.